In measures 7 and 8, there is a difference between a quarter note and an eighth note. However, a lot of people really exaggerate this, and I think it's because Bill Purcell made this recording um, a couple years ago, and he noted this difference, and a lot of people just really took it out of context and started playing. And the thing is, we would never really play it like that in orchestra. If you listen to the recording, there's not that big of a difference between these two notes. It just goes... And so, we just want two, two pretty nice chords. You can make a difference. And this is also the beginning of the melody, the trumpet has. First there's the timpani plays and the rest, and then the trumpet has the melody for this measure, and then the violins start the melody in the next measure. So that's something to keep in mind. So here we get to the big tenor aria. You know, it's like Don Juan is, is finally gets his chance at center stage and he's singing, I am a man on my horse with my sword. You know, you can make up whatever words you want. It's this very long line. It's kind of like, you know, maybe a run-on sentence. So don't let it get too choppy with da ba da da ba da You know, it's always be looking ahead and seeing the longer line. The bowing in this passage can be done in a number of different ways. I prefer to play the whole measure on a down bow. Which is how the New York Phil does it, and if they do it that way, that's good enough for me. But I also sometimes see it done with a double up. Which is also a convincing bowing because then it, you can keep that pattern throughout. It's also okay just to use the open string to use that to shift into second position. Uh, there. You just don't smack it. In measures 10 and 11, it's important to notice the difference between these two measures. In 10, there's a 16th rest in the middle of the line. Here. But here it's sustained. So pay attention to these small little details. We just had an A sharp in the last measure, but in this measure it's an A natural, so it's important that this semitone is very tight. Here. Really make the difference really obvious. In measure 13, this measure gives violinists a hard time since it's the first one in a while where there's a shift down to this F natural. A great way to practice this is to actually ignore the F natural for a minute and just think about going from the high D to an E natural, which is easy because there's a harmonic there. And then just add the F natural, a semitone, really close above it. So that you get used to hearing that. That F natural really low. And then the trick after this is to make sure that that F sharp is nice and high. The other trick in measure four is to make sure that this G sharp is nice and high because you almost have to push your fingers out of the way in order to get that in tune. So we want to hear that nice and high. And this is a really fun measure because Strauss makes really clever use of these repeated accented appoggiatures. They're always leading to the next note. Probably like Don Juan who went from woman to woman just never staying too long. So in this measure we get a little bit of a breather while another instrument group has the melody. Which brings us to question number one in tonight's game. No the score! Jimmy! Okay, yeah, yeah, let's do this. For the chance to make $75 for service and the opportunity to perform for a lifetime with the Sleepy River Symphony Philharmonic on the legendary conductor Kamoko Stan, who has the melody in measures 17 through 20? Oh. Oh, I know I should know this. I know I should know this. Would you like to use one of your lifelines? Yeah, you can either check the score, listen to a recording, or call a flex. Let's consult the score. 
Okay, we're gonna check the score. You have 30 seconds. Why is it so tiny? I didn't even speak Italian. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like it's the strings. It doesn't look like it's the woodwinds. I guess I'm gonna say C, the brass. Is that your final answer? Yeah, that's my final answer. Jimmy, you are correct! Yeah? I won? Enjoy your new position with the Sleeper River Symphony Philharmonic! <laughs>